Best player of each year from 2013 straight to 2024, Real Madrid edition. And for this video, since we did most disappointing player of each season, we have to do the complete opposite this time and do the best player of each season. And we're starting off with a trophy last season 2013. But if you were watching back then, the team was magical under Jose Mourinho. And we expected to win trophies. Yes, we got knocked out by Dortmund, losing to Barcelona and missing out on every single trophy but the star player that season and you have to agree you can't disagree there is no other player other than the guy who scored 69 goals of the season 69 goals in a calendar year is crazy numbers the only player to do more was Messi Ronaldo was just on a whole nother level best player in the world at the time we move on to 2014 2014 it's a similar story only now we have trophies we won the Copa del Rey, UCL, Gareth Bale led us to both, but I still can't say that there's another player who was better than Ronaldo at the time. Ronaldo even won the Ballon d'Or in this time. In a row, he won two Ballon d'Ors in a row this time. It would be absolutely insane to say that he was not the best player, because we're talking 51 goals, 17 assists. And therefore, Ronaldo was the best player in 2014. He also broke the Champions League scoring record by scoring 15 goals. Then we move on to 2014-15. This season was so disappointing. And not because we were playing bad football. This team was playing the best football I've seen in years, you can say. Ronaldo scored 61 goals in a season. And then on top of that, scoring 23 assists. So, if you count that up, that is 84 goals and assists. Think about that. We lost out on Champions League, La Liga, Copa del Rey, you name it. And I'm currently getting tired of saying this, but 2016, the man with 66 goals and assists, who led us to a Champions League victory and scoring the most goals, actually breaking a new record. He broke his previous record and scored 17 goals in the UCL. Who was second best? I can say Sergio Ramos was second best. 2017, this is actually, I would say, a more challenging one because we had Sergio Ramos. Marcelo is also a name you can throw there. Marcelo is having a whole time a season. Think about it. But then it just leads us back again to Cristiano, who was the most important player. Scoring in the big games, scoring against Bayern, Atletico, Juventus. He just led us to everything. He led us to a La Liga trophy. Put some respect on his name yet again. 2017, unfortunately, Belongs to Ronaldo. Okay, 2018. This one is actually controversial because if you look at 2018, Luka Modric won the Ballon d'Or for 2018 because he had gotten to the World Cup final with Croatia and being the most vital and important player. He was also very good for Madrid. Whereas Ronaldo, I actually felt should have won the Ballon d'Or. I don't know if you agree with that. Maybe you are Modric, pro Modric. And the thing is, Modric was a good player. And I would say he was second or third best behind Messi and Ronaldo. I think Ronaldo, no doubt. We're talking about 56 goals and assists for Madrid, winning the UCL yet again. And yes, this was also his last season, which means you're not going to hear Ronaldo's name as this video goes on. But Ronaldo, again, I sound like a broken record. 2018-19, when the team was going through a very bad phase, Benzema stepped up. <laughs> Nobody else stepped up. Modric was not stepping up. Bale, who we all thought would shine more. He was getting injured a lot. Benzema stepped up. And also a very renewed Benzema that we haven't seen. 2019, he had 41 goals and assists. And those are numbers that I don't think he ever put up numbers like that. It was the best tally of the entire club for that season. Okay, so 2020. Listen, Cruz to me was the best player of 2020. But I mean, Cruz led us to La Liga. Without Cruz, we would not be doing the things we were doing. Cruz was our best player. And overall, we have to put respect on Cruz's name. He's one of the best players to never win the Ballon d'Or. Cruz, in that season in particular, 2020, best player. And I know I'm being harsh to Benzema, but we mentioned Benzema in the last season. We have to give him his flowers. Best player of 2020, you can agree with it. And I wouldn't blame you. And I wouldn't say you're wrong for saying that another player was the best 2020 player. 2021. So this season, pandemic year, and also 
It's kind of difficult to say who is the best player because there weren't any real good contenders to be even in the Ballon d'Or shortlist. If you remember, there were not many Madrid players being nominated for the Ballon d'Or. And also, if you think about it, if I have to say best players for 2021, it's going to be either between Benzema and Lucas Vasquez. Okay, so that is controversial. You're probably thinking I'm unbelievably stupid. But Vasquez was very good that season. And he was playing like his life depended on it. He was a good player. Was he the best? No. Benzema by far. Best player of 2021. 2022. This was also a season in which we won the UCL. We won La Liga. And overall it was a, an amazing season and you just had to watch it. You had to be there. You just had to see it. If you must out on that. You must have done a very good season of good football and entertaining football. To me, it is either between Luka Modric, Vinny Jr, who reached 40 goals and assists, Benzema. Benzema won the Ballon d'Or, 59 goals and assists, speaks for itself. And overall, Benzema was the best player. You can argue Vinny, but he doesn't even come close. Actually, for that entire year, there was not a single player better than Benzema. 2023, which was last season, this one it can also go again between Benzema and Vinny. But overall, I'm going to take Benzema out of it. He must out on a good amount of football and good amount of games. Benzema was still Benzema, still scoring a lot of goals and assists. But Vinny Jr. still the show. Vinny Jr. completely stole the show. His performances against Liverpool. Against Man City, even against Barcelona, Vinny Jr. was on a whole different level. 44 goals and assists. I think this is when Vinny got into his own. He became his own player. He became a way better player and more. You can see in enhanced his play style a lot this season. So Vinny Jr. was the best player for Real Madrid. 2024, this is the current season. And overall, you can only bring this to two players. Jude Bellingham, Vinny Jr. So this one is a very tough decision. And overall, I'm not just going to say who is the best player. I'm going to predict who will be the best player of the season. Jude Bellingham, Jude Bellingham with 28 goals and assists. An outstanding player and he's a midfielder at the end of the day. Vinny Jr. has 26 goals and assists. Must out on a good portion of the season. Vinny Jr. I think will have more goals and assists. I think will have more magical moments, more memorable moments. And overall, it's insane to say that Vinny will have a worse season than Bellingham. I think Bellingham, amazing debut season. But I don't think he will be competing with Vinny Jr. And that's my take. I would like to know what's your take on the situation. Who do you think is the best players of each year? But if you enjoyed the video, smash like, subscribe, because it truly helps me out.